Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be back. I know I've been in my day, but I'm here and this is the first video of the new year. I'm really excited. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I use Riso Curls. Um, this is a Latina owned brand and if you don't know about them, Definitely check them out. I will tag their IG down below if you want to see how I use Riso's curls and how I was able to get these results. Just stay tuned. Keep watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tap on that notification bell so that way you don't miss anything else because I will be coming out with more videos soon. Bye guys. Hey guys, so we all know that wash day can seem a little overwhelming sometimes, but no worries. We have a whole video ready to help. Just keep watching. So first I start by going in with the hydrating shampoo. This shampoo is very cleansing and it smells amazing. Following the shampoo, I go in with the Rizos Curls Deep Conditioner. This also smells like heaven in a bottle, seriously. Like, there's nothing like it. So first, we just wanna make sure that our hair is tangle-free. So here I have my wide tooth comb, um, just going through and making sure that I don't have any tangles. And my hair smells so good. Then, of course, we take our water, <laughs> because every curly girl needs extra water. Um, and I just go in and I re-wet my hair to make sure that I have enough water to absorb the product. So to deep condition my hair, I usually section my hair in two parts. Um, I just find that this way is easier for me to apply the products. So then I go in with the deep conditioner. I apply a liberal amount. I really do. I'm not afraid to apply deep conditioners. I always feel like the more the better. I would rather have more deep conditioner than not enough. So I just go in and I distribute the deep conditioner evenly throughout my hair. I try to focus on the areas of my hair that I know tend to be the most dry. And for me, it's in the back of my head. So I always try to focus more there. I then just go in on the other side, doing the same thing. I apply more deep conditioner and I just apply it evenly throughout my hair. This conditioner has a lot of slip and I think that it works very well because the shampoo is very clarifying. So it can feel like your hair is a little bit stripped but with this deep conditioner, it adds the moisture right back into your hair. I absolutely love it. I then like to just go back in with my wide tooth comb and just brush my hair out to make sure that my hair is evenly distributed with the product. I then just take my hair, I put it in a little bun on top of my head and I get ready to sit with the deep conditioner in. And that's it girl, yes. <laughs> I then get ready to use my thermal hot head. I love using a thermal hot head to deep condition. I feel like it really helps the moisture settle into my hair. The heat really helps the moisture penetrate the hair cuticles. I usually leave it in for about 30 minutes and let me tell you, it takes the deep conditioning process to a whole new level. Now, of course, we're going to add some more water, which is a curly girl's best friend. We always need to make sure that our hair has enough water to correctly absorb the product that we're gonna add to it. To start the styling process, I first go in with the Refresh and Detangle Spray. And I know that it says it's a refresh and detangle spray, but I like to use it as a leave-in. It just gives that extra moisture and it has amazing slip. Yeah. 
As I apply my products, I actually like to flip my head upside down. I apply my products with my hair upside down um, and I actually learned this tip from a girlfriend of mine, Mamacita, who I will tag her page down below so you can definitely check her out. But she gave us this little tip to apply our products like this to help with more volume and to help for your hair not to get stuck to your scalp, creating like a flat top shape. She actually calls it Say No to Flat Top. So Mamacita, we saying no to flat top all 2019. You already know, girl. I actually used to do this step, but I used to do it toward the end of my styling process. She actually does it from the first product that she applies in her hair. And since I started doing the same, I noticed so much of a difference. Next, we're going to go in with the Curl Defining Cream, and this cream smells amazing, and it has so much slip. I like to add some water to it to make it more easy to distribute throughout my hair. I have finer hair, so with creams, I usually like to water them down a little bit, just so that way they absorb better for my hair. When applying your products, you just want to make sure that you get every part of your hair. And like I said in the beginning of my video with the deep conditioner, I like to focus on my dry areas, which happen to be in the back of my head. So I usually apply more product there to help keep my hair moisturized. I then usually add a little bit more water just so that way I know that my hair has enough moisture in it to absorb the product. And don't worry if your hair seems like it's really wet, it's a good thing to have more water than not enough water. I go in with a little bit more curl cream, again just so that way I can make sure that my dry areas have enough product in them and that way they don't dry out too much while I diffuse. So when I style my hair, I usually like to go in with a gel. Unfortunately, Riso's Curls doesn't have a gel, so I'm hoping they come out with one soon. But in the meantime, I decided to try out the Shea Moisture coconut hydration gel. I heard a lot of good things about it so I decided to try it for this wash and go. When I apply my gel I just scrunch it in to my hair. Scrunching is a curly girl's best friend. It actually helps to form your curls and create more definition. So I just apply the gel and I scrunch it in all over my hair. As you're applying your products you should hear a squishy sound this just means that you have enough water and your hair is going to be moisturized. If you don't hear the squishing sound, girl, you better go add some water to that hair. <laughs> so like I said, I just scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. And you see the excess product coming out as I scrunch. And that's fine as well. I like to just add gel um, for more hold. Like I said, I have finer hair, so I need a good gel for hold. So I just add more as I feel like I need it, especially in the areas of my hair, like I said, that get more dry. I usually apply more. Then I usually take either a microfiber towel or a cotton t-shirt and I just soak up the excess product that I have in my hair to help the drying process go a little bit faster and so that way my hair isn't as weighed down. And then I usually just add a little bit more gel if I see any pieces that are, you know, coming out of place and to make sure that I have enough hold.
and these are my wet results it always amazes me how wet curls look from dry curls it's like magic every time next it's time to diffuse here I use a diva curl dryer which is the bomb.com and I like to use the curly co attachment the curly co attachment is super affordable and it's collapsible which makes it super easy to store while diffusing I usually try to avoid touching my hair as much as possible to avoid frizz and to just help maintain some definition and these are my dry results before fluffing and scrunching out the crunch I usually take some oil any oil is fine here I use the Maui moisture I take a little bit in my hands I rub it together and I just fluff it out don't be afraid to go in with your hands and shake it out and fluff it out this is only going to create more volume which any curly girl loves I really loved how this combo worked together. The gel didn't leave a really hard cast, which was easy to scrunch out and it didn't weigh my hair down. I do have some more frizz than normal on day one, but just a little bit of frizz is okay. It creates more volume, but I have amazing definition. So a girl really can't complain too much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to go check out Riso's Curls and let me know if you try this combo. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys later.